This is a Zeiss Axiostar microscope. It's equipped with a trinocular head for photography, a light path selector to direct the light both to the phototube for photography and also to the eyepieces for visual observation. It's equipped with the Zeiss PL10X eyepieces and they are corrected for eyeglass wearers and their 18 fill number. The one on the right is focusing for visual acuity and also for par focalization. Moving down the microscope to the nose piece, it's a four place nose piece. There are two phase contrast objectives on it, a 10x CP Acromat, which is phase one, and a 40x CP Acromat, which is a phase two. Going down to the stage, this is a ceramic stage. It is not a metal stage, which means that it's going to last for an indefinite period of time. It doesn't scratch easily. Uh, it doesn't uh, dent or break. Metal stages wear out. Ceramic stages do not wear out. And so over here on the right-hand side, you have a coaxial drive, low position, which controls the XY movement of the stage. Specimen holder with a spring clip to accommodate almost every size of uh, microscope slide there is. Right here you have a phase condenser. It's both focusable, as you can see, and centerable with these centering screws in the very front. It has uh, phase positions for one, two, and three, a uh, bright field position with a uh, iris diaphragm for stopping down the, the field and accentuating your resolution, and also a position for dark field. Going straight down, you have a field port which has a built-in diaphragm for centering the condenser and aligning the light path through the condenser, which is called Kohler illumination. You have coaxial drives on each side of the stand for both coarse focus and fine focus. Over here, of course, you have the on-off switch, and you have the rheostat control for uh, controlling the intensity, both uh, increasing it and decreasing it. Uh, to the, on, on the top here, you have the knob, for directing the light both to the um, eyepieces and also for the, the camera. Zeiss was the first company that came out with the triangular shaped pyramid design and now all the companies are doing it but they were the first, they innovated it and it's a very nice design, very nice scope. This is a, a well-built scope built to last probably the last 15-20 years easily.